Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again to bring you the first ever episode of Indie Awesome. And this is a game where I check out an indie game that I found, a good indie game that I found, and tell you why I think it's so good, where you can get it, and just basically recommend it to you in every way. Now, this game is out in an open beta right now, and is probably one of the best games I've played this year. And as you can tell, everything is kind of a sketch drawing. Every piece of art in this game was done with ballpoint pen. And this is a combination side-scrolling shooter and platformer, puzzle platformer. And I know that's a strange combination, but it works out really well in this game. So I have to head back now. I've just finished collecting three parts for my ship. The story is Basically, the logistics have taken over this world of sketches, so every new sketch has to serve in the military to try to fight the logistics. And we are a brand new sketch, and we're just awakening to this world, and it is kind of decimated. Like, it used to be a happy, nice world, but now it's not. So, as you saw, that was some of the platforming aspects. Now I'm going to talk to this guy who got me to gather all those parts, and he will tell me to move on. I thought he was actually going to give me my first mission. I meant to show you guys some later game footage, but that didn't happen because the game crashed as it is in beta, so I didn't manage to save or anything, so I had to just quit. So apparently I pass and am heading to the boot camp. So as you can tell, the art style is very beautiful. If I did have a complaint about this game, or two complaints, it'd be that the controls are a bit stiff right now, and the music is a tiny bit repetitive. But that doesn't matter too much. So basically, as you do missions, or as you explore this world, you gain new parts to add to your ship, which make it easier or possible to complete later levels. The control scheme is also a bit weird. You have a main weapon and a sub-weapon, your main weapon fires with control, your sub weapon or your secondary weapon fires with alt. And it just kind of messes with you because your special is Z. I'd prefer if everything was kind of in the Wasid area at least. I move around with my arrow keys by the way. There are also most controls, but I'm not gonna get into those right now. And in case you guys are wondering, this is not a point-based side-scrolling shooter. This is actually um, a life-based side-scrolling shooter. How well you do depends on how many times you get hit. If you look over there in the top left, you'll see that I have five lives total, as well as two overloads, which I'll also show you fairly shortly. And those five lives... That's an overload, by the way. Those five lives go down, and you get a rating depending on how many you have left. The better your rating, the more parts you get to build ships in the future. So it's always good to keep all five lives if possible. And you don't necessarily have to kill every enemy as long as you... As, yeah, sorry, I got a bit distracted there. As long as you just survive. That's the only real objective to this game. And nothing else is very important. Apparently using overload uses up both your overloads, though I did not know that. So at the end of every level, as you might expect from a side-scrolling shooter, you get a boss, and it's usually a multi-phase boss, and it usually spawns extra enemies at the same time, so unfortunately I went down one star there. I do not want to go down a second- oh, two stars. I'm not very good at side-scrolling shooters, I have gotten five stars at this exact, um, part before but I don't seem to be doing as well this time. So love the game, love the art. Music, a bit iffy, it's a bit repetitive. Maybe they'll add more in the later game, but to be honest, I don't even really notice the music because the rest of the game is so good. So it's pretty minimal complaint, all things considered. And look at the art. Everything done by hand is absolutely amazing. So can't recommend this game as much. I'm going to stop with the actual review aspect because I think you guys get the point. I absolutely love this game. And I'll just continue playing it, showing off some gameplay. And you guys can decide for yourselves what you think. Apparently you can jump after you've left the ground already. So it's just up to jump. I'd prefer a spacebar jump as well. But right now, I'm assuming the controls will be mappable. They aren't currently so I can't be changing them around. As you can tell there, I've messed with the background, kind of brought it down. 
then I can move on to the next area. That also brings it down. So, he moved the block, but I'm kind of curious as to what is over here. Oh, an extra mission that I have not done before. So let's accept this and see what I get as a reward. So last time I got two new items as a reward, I got a shield and a machine gun. The shield you can use to absorb some fire, but it does break eventually. So I prefer to go burst machine gun and and submachine gun right here, and just have two firing powers. So your noses will give you different special abilities, your uh, engine will give you either more maneuverability or more... Oh, I forget. So everything has its own different effect. And like I said, tons of fun. The game does get fairly hard very fast, and I find this is mostly because the enemies do not have very predictable patterns of movement compared to other side-scrolling side scrolling shooter games. Again, that's actually a positive, not a negative. I like difficulty in these types of games, because even though I'm not very good at them, I like to be challenged, and I think these games should be very difficult. They should give you as many retries as you need, but it should be almost impossible to pass after a, fr after a few levels. I was always a big fan of the Raiden series, not side scroller, and I never knew too much about the Gradius series itself. Oh, blindsided. Okay, so I'm failing at this pretty hard. So I don't know too much about side scrolling, I'm usually forward scrolling shooter. But, you know, big boss fights, everything necessary to make a good side scrolling shooter is in this game. And especially the customization. It always really pisses me off when I cannot have my own customized weapons, like I don't get to choose what I have, I have to depend on luck. Personally, I think it's it's more of a test of skill if you get to choose your weapons, if you get to design your own shit. So I like that very much. Anyways, um, I think this is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys go and pick up Ballpoint Universe. It's currently in open beta, you can find it on IndieDB.com, or you could just Google it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!